Batman is a legendary superhero who's known by pretty much everyone on the planet, thanks to his success across media in films, TV series and video games. He's been in comics for over 75 years, and in that time, several different versions of the Batman persona have emerged. These have come from alternate dimensions, alternate timelines and such, and this video is going to go over the 5 best alternative versions of Batman. And alternative means not the mainstream version of Bruce Wayne. Number 5. Future Batman from the video game DC Universe Online comes a Batman from a dystopian future in which Lex Luthor has killed Superman. You've lost everything. No, I beat you. Me, Lex Luthor! Brainiac has taken over the world. They too will belong to Brainiac. And Batman was almost killed by the Joker. This? Nobody kills the bat but me! But Batman was able to survive the attack, although he did sustain some very serious injuries, including severe burns and scars over his face, and the loss of his right arm, which he has replaced with a robotic limb. His suit has also been drastically upgraded with future tech, including booster jets for flight and an energy blaster. This means that this version of Batman is basically a mix between the Batsuit and Iron Man's suit, which is every fanboy's dream. Which is why this is the only Batman on this list who is actually named Bruce Wayne. Number 4. Owlman Owlman is Batman's evil counterpart in an alternative universe where the Justice League are all evil. In the comic Forever Evil, we see some parts of his past, including him orchestrating his own parents' death in order to inherit their fortune, as he feels that they are managing their company wrong and he can do a better job. His name is Thomas Wayne Jr, and he tries to convince his brother, Bruce Wayne, to join him, but when he refuses, he kills him as well. And we also see how he recruited Dick Grayson as his partner. He still recruits him as he does in the normal DC Universe, as in Dick Grayson's parents die and he adopts him. Only in this universe, it turns out that he orchestrated Dick Grayson's parents' deaths in order to win Dick Grayson to his side. When Dick Grayson learns this, of course, he does turn against him. And all of this gives you some idea of what the man is capable of, and it is no surprise when the Owlman in the movie Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths tries to destroy not only his own universe, but every universe in the multiverse for little to no reason. Why would you want to destroy the world? Because it's the only action one could take that would have any purpose. The reason he's Owlman instead of a Batman is because owls eat bats, implying that he's a deadlier Batman than we're used to. Though this means an argument can be made that he's not technically speaking an alternate Batman, but since he is the evil version of Batman, I think it definitely counts. He has all of Bruce Wayne's genius intellect, his resources and willpower, but no moral compass whatsoever. You must have been a good man once. No, not good, never good. After all, I'm only human. And there is nothing more entertaining than an evil version of a hero, hence why pretty much every comic book character ever made has an evil counterpart somewhere in the multiverse. Number 3. Batman Beyond In the future of the DC animated universe, Bruce Wayne has grown into an old man, and his health has deteriorated so much that he's no longer able to carry on as the hero Batman. Never again. He slowly sinks into seclusion until one night a gang of Joker fiend vandals invade his property chasing Terry McGuinness. Who do you think you're talking to, old man? We're the Jokers! Sure you are. Terry McGuinness and Bruce Wayne are of course able to fight off the Jokers, but Bruce Wayne needs help getting back into his house. My medicine. At the house. When Terry helps him into his house, he also discovers the Batcave and realizes that Bruce Wayne is Batman. You're Batman. I was Batman. This eventually is Terry McGuinness becoming the new Batman with a futuristic version of the Batsuit. I warn you, I can be a difficult taskmaster. I accept nothing short of excellence from all who work for me. I think I can handle it. As I've said, Bruce Wayne's health was deteriorating, and so he designed this Batsuit to compensate for that. So it enhances the wearer's strength, allows them to fly, and has a host of other abilities such as a stealth mode that makes the wearer basically invisible. 
The best thing about this version of Batman is that it allows for a young, hot-headed Batman, whilst behind the scenes, a retired Bruce Wayne is the brains of the outfit. And the dynamic that the two share is very entertaining, and is one of the best hero-sidekick relationships in DC animation, if not the best. And this version of the Batsuit also gives the audience another idea of what a merger of the Iron Man suit and the Batsuit might look like. Number 2. Flashpoint Batman In the alternative timeline of Flashpoint, instead of Bruce Wayne's parents dying in the alley and Bruce Wayne becoming Batman, Bruce Wayne instead dies and his parents live, with his father, Thomas Wayne, ending up becoming Batman and his mother becoming this world's Joker. This version of Batman is much darker and grittier, Thomas Wayne has stopped being a doctor and now owns a casino in Gotham. He is an alcoholic Batman who has no qualms about using guns or murdering people, which makes for a very entertaining version of Batman. You should have let her hit the pavement. You shouldn't have thrown her. She slipped. The only person he refuses to kill from his Rose Gallery is the Joker, who is of course still his wife and he can't work up the strength to kill her as part of him still loves her, even though watching her descend into madness is tearing him apart. This character combines all the best elements of Batman with all the darkest elements of a hopeless noir lead character that ends up with a Batman that is unforgettable. I'm afraid there just isn't enough speed force to go around. <laughs> and those glowing red eyes just look incredible. Number 1. Gods and Monsters Unlike every other version of Batman on this list, this one has absolutely no link to Bruce Wayne at all, at least not in his own universe. In this alternative version of the DC Universe, we see reimaginings of a lot of DC characters, and one of the best reimaginings is that of Kirk Langstrom. In the normal DC Universe, he tries to cure deafness in humans by combining their DNA with bats and ends up becoming Man-Bat, a hybrid of a human and a bat and he is stopped by Batman and turned back into a human. But in this alternative universe, he is much younger and still at university, and he is dying of an illness and has very little time left to live. He is desperately trying to find a cure to his illness by again using bats. You better survive this, you bastard. And he ends up turning himself into a vampire, or at least he is essentially a vampire. He can still go out in the daylight without bursting into flames, though it does seem to hurt his eyes, and obviously holy relics such as crucifixes don't do him any damage. But he does still have the need to feed on human blood in order to survive, much like the vampire bat. Although he can cook up synthetic blood to live on, he mainly only feeds on criminals and sort of does a mix of synthetic blood and criminal blood in order to make sure he doesn't hurt any innocents. He's a freaking vampire for Christ's sakes! He only kills criminals! and he also has super speed, super strength, and the ability to fly. And he is also voiced by Michael C. Hall from the TV show Dexter, and he does a wonderful rendition of the character, as both a jaded cynic, a detective, a superhero, and an inhuman monster. And he has you genuinely caring about this Batman's plight. I love two people in my life, and now they're both gone. And that is the list of the 5 best alternative versions of Batman. Do you agree with this list? Or do you think they should have been in a different order? And are there any other alternative versions of Batman that you think should have been on this list? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needlemass Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.